going to do an updated semi-furnished house tour because um, I haven't really made any like updates since we've been here and it's been about a year. Excuse me. I look a hot mess, so I'm not getting on camera. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all will see me some other time, but <laughs> not today. But um, so let me just show you where we're at um, and then I'll just tell you every everything that we got, where we got it from and so forth. So um, this is the kitchen. So as you can see, we're doing like a black, white, and chrome look um, for the kitchen. These came from Wayfair, pretty good quality. Um, tar garbage can came from Target. I made a short showing you guys um, how we went about our sink update. And I actually put this sink in myself, so I'm really proud of that. But um, let me wipe you off, sorry. Um, these soap dispensers I got from Home Goods. This plant came from Ikea. And it's actually, um, it didn't come like this. I bought the pot and the plant separately. But let me show y'all what I did. Boop. I like propped it up on something, but you can't even tell. Like it looks like it's just, even my mother-in-law's mom. So my grandmother-in-law, she was like, is that real? It looks real. So yeah, I'm proud of that. <laughs> I was just trying to make something shake. But, um, so yeah, that's my little frother and teapot. Aaron bought me that frother. He knew I wanted a frother, so I'm happy about that. This little white and black brush I got from, um, Amazon. It was like $8. I was just trying to find something to match. I didn't want to do brown because I don't have a lot of brown. Originally, when we bought this house, I was like, oh, I'm going to have this brown color, you know, pops up brown throughout the house. And then that kind of changed. As you can see, I bought this bowl from Ikea. I love this little wooden fruit bowl it's really cute and i love the detail so everything else is pretty much the same we bought this toaster off of amazon and um it's good it's good the first one i had was like 13 dollars. i got it from target and it was it worked for like a month and then it gave out but i like the matte black look so i wanted something matte black to kind of go with the rest of the kitchen so yeah this is the kitchen um, as far as window treatments go, I went with roller shades, which I love. And you know what? I love this little detail in it. And it, to me, it mimics the granite. So that's why I went with that one. Um, but y'all, roller shades are not cheap, for real. And I hate when people don't give details. Okay, so let me just tell y'all exactly what I spent. So for downstairs, we went with roller shades. Inside of all of the rooms in the house, we went with blinds because it was cheaper. Um, gray blinds. I didn't want white. I wanted gray. So all in all, it was about $4,000 to, to do window treatments on the whole house. But it's definitely worth it because I feel like the window treatments just make it just look more of scale. Um, you know, I just wanted to do something neutral that would also let, allow a lot of sunlight to come in. So anyway, so this is the kitchen. Let me show you this plant I got from Target. Really cute. I think it's actually an outdoor plant, but I really loved it. It's really nice. The dirt looks real. This is a faux plant. As you can see, it has really nice details to it. It looks real, which is why I love Target's plants. Like their plants are like the best. Okay, so as far as decor um we have these three photos and we're gonna do another row of three and then a row above it so it's gonna be a total of nine photos and i don't know if i'm gonna do picture lights or not i might not um because it might be just too high because as you can see the wall is uh these are nine foot ceilings so i don't want it to go too high okay so that's the kitchen let me step back give you another view We haven't updated any of the light fixtures yet. I'm still indecisive. Um, 
I have, I'm still, you know, trying to figure out how I can mix in some different metals. I haven't figured that out yet. It's very silver, gray, and white in here. And I don't really want to bring in gold because I feel like it might clash too much. I know it's very monochromatic, but it looks clean. It looks, you know, put together and modern. And that's really the look that I'm going for. All right, so let's move on to the dining area. Okay, so this is my dining area right now. Um, let me step back. Ignore that mirror on the floor. I still don't know where I'm going to put it, if I'm even going to keep it. So the light fixture, I'm still trying to figure out what light fixture I want to go with. Um, I didn't know these chairs were this color. I thought they were going to be like a light cream, but it came out the same, almost the same color as the table. I actually whitewashed this table myself. So again, I'm proud of that. Let me pull these out so you can see how the table looks. So it's like a three leg table, oak, natural oak. It took like four months to get here. No, eight, five months to get here, five or six months. And you know, over the course of time, like your taste changes, you see new things. You're like, oh, you know, I wanted to do this, but whatever. I kept it and I was like, okay, well, I don't want to do black chairs because I have black, you know, bar stools and I didn't want it to be so matchy matchy, but uh, I got to figure out a way to break up all of this cream. So I'm thinking of doing a, a round rug, uh, black and cream, and then doing like a black light fixture, but I haven't found the exact one that I want. Um, this painting it's like a textured art piece it came from home goods i really liked it when i saw it and now i don't know if i want to keep it in here and i don't know where i would put it because i don't think i want to do grays i think i want to do cream and black in here so anyway so um that's that um over here is still very uh unfinished i have not decided what to do over here so far i've just picked up this piece it's a marble I love marble. Um, I got that from Home Goods. Oh, this this uh, credenza I got from Home Goods, and it was a steal. When I tell y'all, I've been doing everything on a budget. This credenza was, um, I think, and I asked to get some money off because it had a little damage on the leg. It was like, mm, I would say like 350, 350 to 380. Um, that's not going to stay there, but I was just, you know, trying to pick up some little vases or whatever. And I just put this here because, um, I don't know what else to put on here yet, but yeah, you'll see me style this eventually. Um, this wall, I wanted to do like a round mirror, but you see that thing, they put it like right, like really close. So I'm trying to figure out how I can make it so that it's not so... I don't want it to be off center, so I might not be able to do a round one. I might have to do like a a rectangular one or something like that because I don't want it to clash with that. The mud area, nothing changed over there, and I don't even want to go over there because it's like messy. I'll let y'all see because I don't care. It's messy. We got toys. These are the frames that I'm going to hang up over here um, that I was telling y'all about um yeah car seat some shoes and also like over here i'm still deciding like what exactly i want to do if i want to do baskets oh this is a, a runner that i had in the kitchen it's cute but again it's like a lot of cream and so i mean I, I like the that it you know brings in the cream you know what let me show y'all how it looks okay so this is the runner i liked it because it has grays and silvers and uh, cream and it just to me mimics the colors that I have going on right now but then I was like um and I, I got this from Target by the way I think it was like $50 and it doesn't show stains very well surprisingly so I do recommend it but I don't know I kind of just got over it and I was like I, I kind of want to do a different uh, color like something with black dark gray and um white or something like that I'm not really sure but yeah, um, so that was that. Again, if y'all have any recommendations on how I can spruce this dining area up, let me know um, in the comments below because I've been struggling with this for real. I feel like I'm in cream overload and I wanted the, the table to match the credenza, but I didn't want the chairs to match everything. So 
I got these chairs from World Market and I got the table from DutchFurniture.com, by the way. Um, so yeah. Ooh, this is a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna take y'all into the office. I bought this wonderful desk that I love. Let me focus. I got this from Wayfair. I got the chair from Wayfair. It's a really nice executive desk. I like it. Um, we were gonna do like the side-by-side -side desks, but man, that thing was hard to find. And then if we wanted to go custom, it would have been like eight grand or more. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not that serious. Um, so I'm planning on putting something above here and I plan on redoing this office, but, um, so over here, we just have our printer and like this little rolly thing that I'm going to get rid of that's going, I don't know what to do with it. Probably go in the garbage or donate it. Um, over here, I'm going to do like a file cabinet, but like a white one, um, just something to kind of spruce it up. Also. I wanted to do like French doors. But the thing about it is this window sees directly outside. So I don't know if I want to do French doors here because if we accidentally leave the blinds open, they can see all through our house. And I'm a private person. So I don't know about it. Um, this is the entryway. This is like an old plant. And I don't know why it's so close to the wall. Like, who did that? Um, but I'm end up getting rid of this plant. I tried to put it outside, but it kept it kept falling over. Um, this potted plant I got from mm, I want to say Home Goods, and I I like this little black and gold thing. I just have to figure out a way to fix that some type of way. So this is the view from the door. So, yeah. All right, now the last room I'm gonna show, oh, I'm gonna show you guys the half bath too. But uh, let me go do that now. So the half bath was like the first room that I decorated. This was before I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, I wanna decorate our whole house. And I was just like, I went to Target and I was like, okay, I wanna do a little basket. I had a white towel hanging up here. It said like wash, it was cute. I got rid of it because it was white and like people using it, it made it look so dingy. What I'm gonna end up doing is something else. Like I'm thinking about paneling this bathroom. I went to Home Goods and I found like this little plant and this really pretty crystal and this little, um, candle as you can see i'm going with like a black white and cream look or at least at least i was like when i first we first bought the house so that's our plunger i went with the little black garbage can and everything in here is the same i bought this little um, soap dispenser from target it's really nice it's glass it's nice quality uh, i like it but yeah this bathroom is definitely in need of a revamp and this oh my gosh so i bought one of those little porta the little um <laughs> baby stand-up potties for adonis and i stuck it to the wall he never used it so i took it off and it left it, it ripped off the paint so and that was the piece of tape that was left behind but i ended up like spackling over that so yeah when i i left it like that because i plan on like doing something else to this bathroom but yeah um this is the original um, light fixture that, you know, eventually we're gonna change out. I don't have anything on the wall in here. Like it's very blank, um, but yeah. So that's definitely a, a project I wanna tackle for sure. All right. So last but not least, we're gonna go into the living room. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go in order for, from like what we bought, like in order. So the first thing we did in here was get our wall done. Y'all, this wall was like, I have actually a short on my page showing like the construction of it. I love this wall. I, this is exactly what I wanted. Something very like narrow. You see, it doesn't come out far because I didn't want it to intrude on the living space. But um, it's this is a huge wall. In the model home, they had 
the TV on this wall. They had the couch here and I didn't like that. I want this to be the focal point when you first walk in. Cause as you can see, you come through the living room, bam, you know? So anyway, that was the first thing that we did. That's our fireplace that we love. We can change the colors on it. Um, now, as far as the walls on the side, I was originally gonna do shelving, but I didn't have enough room for it. Like, we only have about 12 inches of depth on that wall, that little feature wall, so like shelves would not work. And also, I feel like it would distract from, you know, the look, the look that we have. So, um, I wasn't, I'm still not sure what to do with it. I might leave it blank um, because now we have artwork, which I'm gonna show you in detail. The next thing that we bought is our sectional. So this sectional came from the American Signature Collection. Um, it's still a really nice couch. Um, we got this, it's a custom made couch. It took about six months to come. It came, we've had it for a while now. Um, as you can see, it's been sat on, but I haven't spruced it up with like different color pillows. I've been meaning to do that. I just haven't done it. <laughs> um, so back here on the wall, it's just a picture of us. Um, I'm going to end up moving that. And I even thought about taking that picture and putting it back here, but I don't know if that would be too matchy matchy. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think I should do here. Um, next ignore that high chair um i bought this plant from target i like i said i love their plants that's also an exterior plant but i use it for an interior plant and i really love it these two chairs i got from target a good deal um and then ooh, i love these paintings y'all when i say i was on the hunt for artwork and everything was like in the thousands for what i wanted um because I was trying to match something with these chairs. And as you can see, let me get up close. It has this really nice detail in it. Um, I really love these artworks. We recently got these, like maybe like three weeks ago. Found them at Home Goods, y'all. I was just there. I'm like, you know what? I don't never find nothing at Home Goods like by where I live. But I said, let me just go in here because I got some time to kill. And y'all, when I say I flipped through those those big pictures and saw these, these pictures are huge. So these are nine foot ceilings, and as you can see, like they take up majority of this wall. And I really love it. So my next thing I'm gonna do is get a a, a table to go in the middle, a black one. But y'all, let me tell you about these paintings. So um. I was on a hunt for paintings and I'm gonna put a picture up on here showing you guys like what I was kind of going for. And so when I saw these, I was like, this is almost exactly what I'm looking for. Like I wasn't looking for something with silver in it, but I was like, I don't even care because the paintings I was looking at were like a thousand dollars each. These were like 150 each. So I'm like, I don't care if it's got silver, I'm, I'm taking them. <laughs> so yeah, I really love them. Um, the last thing that we bought that was this table. This came from Crate and Barrel. It's, it's a marble table. The base, I really love. Um, so my thing that I was going for was like, you see how the base looks like that? It kind of mimics this chair, the base of the chair. It's like a enclosed space. And I liked it because you can still see through it. So I don't feel like it shuts off the room. Like I want it to flow. I wanted it to flow through to the fireplace. I didn't want anything to look too heavy in the space. Uh, that stuff over there is like baby stuff. So ignore that. But yeah, so the next thing that I'm thinking about doing in here is definitely a rug. I don't know what color. If you guys have any suggestions, please drop it down below. Um, these two recessed lights were also added at the time that we had this wall done because I was thinking like, okay, I'm going to put some mirrors on this wall. But now that we have these two large art pieces, I think it would be too much. Let me know what y'all think. Would it be too much to add mirrors on either side? Or Aaron said something like doing like just some artwork that's not pictures, but like some sculptural pieces, you know, like some maybe some woven baskets not baskets but you know like uh artwork besides just canvas art let me know what y'all think but anyways let me step back and give like a formal view of the living room right now <laughs> So 
So yeah, I just want to do an up close look at the chair so you can see like the material is like a, what kind of material is this? The material is like a suede, I guess, material. They need to be vacuumed because Adon is ate breakfast. <laughs> and this is, this is where he sits to eat in the morning and at night. <laughs> um, so these chairs I got from World Market and they are like a, um, they're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tweed, not tweed, but kind of tweed. Like if you look at them up close, you can see the details. I did scotch guard these and we don't sit, we don't sit at it that often, surprisingly, but, um, they're really comfortable. I love how they roll and, um, I love the shape. And these are, y'all, please ignore that stuff. That's where we keep our, like, little cleaning stuff. But I'm probably going to end up moving it. Because I don't even use that thing like that no more. But, yeah. So, that's the up close of that. Also, give me some suggestions on what I should do here. Because I definitely am moving that. That's just a placeholder. Um, but I'm thinking about doing, like, a black bowl with some moss in it. Some green moss. Um, I love little pops, pops of green. Um, I choose that as my like pop of color. As you can see, I was real into like eucalyptus and I still am. I still am, but um, I just have to figure out how to style everything. So um, let me show you. Oh, and I forgot to mention our couch is um, performance fabric. Oh my gosh, y'all the best investment yes it was more money but if you have children um yeah get the performance fabric <laughs> especially if you're going to get a cream couch we didn't go cream because i just was like i don't want to be fussing over this couch where everybody can sit comfortably and i'm not stressing out about it you know um but anyways back to these these chairs are from target and these are like the same material as the um the dining chairs so it's like a soft suede. I don't know the word for it. I can't think of the name, but yeah. Um, they were selling out of these things so fast. I had to like stalk the app to get some of these. Like everybody wanted this color. But I must say they are very beautiful and I love them. So yes, and I'm thinking about doing picture lights. Um, at first I was thinking about doing one like in the middle or one on each side but i don't know what do you guys think what do you think about it let me know um so yeah those are the up close and personals of it now these things over here these are baby stuff and i try to keep it out the way um because i don't want to see baby stuff everywhere i've never <laughs> i do not like when the baby stuff like takes over the whole house um that's just me though i like to keep it like okay you can have toys downstairs but you get one basket of toys y'all saw adonis is one basket of toys if it overflows that basket it goes upstairs like he's got his own room he can you know and if you when you're ready for some more toys bring those down and take the old ones up you know because i don't want the downstairs to just look like baby zone all the time Oh, let me show y'all the pantry. So remember when I said the pantry would like be more than enough room? It definitely is. And it's a hot mess. And I'm real. So I'm going to show you because I just went shopping not too long ago. But this is what we looking like. This is the up, the up part. It's a lot of like space in here. It's deep. And like I didn't even fill up that top row. But I'm also going to do some like organization. So stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if I want to do like clear containers for everything though, because I don't always buy the same thing. I have to figure out what will work for us, but I feel like Aaron is ready for a change. Cause he's like, Babe, why don't you like do some like, um, uh, pantry <laughs> organization? I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of tired of looking at it too, but yeah, this is the pantry. Um, it holds a lot, a whole lot. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I'm thinking I'm kind of tired of this blue when we first bought the house I was like oh I love this blue I even requested it because this is an inventory house and if y'all know what I'm talking about it means that all the fixtures all of the the finishes everything is already selected by the builder 
So the buyer does not get to choose anything. But I was like so adamant, like, please, I talked to our sales agent. I was like, please let them, you know, can you please ask them to just like put the blue, like just, you know, nudge them, you know, drop a hint. And she did. And so they put the blue and now I'm over it. I'm, I'm like, I want to paint this. And also the paint is like chipping off. You can see like um, it's, it's chipping off in some areas. So I'm thinking about black, but I don't want to do like black on black. So I might do gray. I don't know. And then I was thinking, okay, what color handles? So yeah, I don't know. I'm still toying with it in my head. What colors to do this island, but it's definitely in need of some revamping. I might even do some paneling and get rid of that little thing there, but and do something more modern. If you guys have any suggestions, please drop it down. Let me know what y'all think. So like I said, like we love everything so far. Um, it's definitely taking time. This is not like an overnight process. And I was trying to be very um, mindful of everything that I buy because I don't want to have to buy it again. I don't want to, you know, get tired of it and buy something else. So far, I'm loving everything. Um, in here, I want to do a fan, I think. I'm not sure. Again, there's still so much up in the air, but I will be doing more like home updates because now I'm thinking about doing the outdoor um, landscaping just to kind of spruce it up because it's looking real ashy. Um, we've been here a year, so it's starting to look real ashy. <laughs> um, also, I want to decorate this coffee table. And, um, but you know, I do have a four year old. He's pretty good about not touching stuff, but I also have an eight month old and he's getting into everything. But I'm thinking about doing something very simple, like some coffee books, coffee table books, maybe a candle, maybe a, you know, the little link chain or something cute, simple. That's really my style I'm going for. Uh, modern, elegant, and simple. So, um, yeah. That's where we're at. So if you guys um, want to see more home content, definitely give me a subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the house so far. Um, I think it's come a really long way and I feel like the house looks bigger because there's stuff in here, you know. Also, this couch, by the way, is huge. Like, it's really big and I love it. It's cozy. Um, but I do think that we need to like... Get some of these pillows restuffed. I got the warranty, so I can do that. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions about like rugs, uh, even like the color that you think would work, if you guys know of any nice chandeliers that would work in our living, our dining area, definitely give me suggestions. I'm definitely open to suggestions, and uh, I value guys's. I value you guys's opinions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, give me a like y'all and let me know down in the comments what I should do next in the house and what you guys want to see on this channel. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Okay. So let me just show y'all up close. I forgot to show you the, um, the blinds. So we did blinds. It's about to get a little dark. We did blinds in all the bath, all the bedrooms and bathroom. So basically any room that has a door, we went with blinds. And I'll show you up close how they look. They're this nice wood tone gray. Um, we did not do roller shades throughout the house because that would have like doubled the amount that we spent on window treatments. And we were already up to like three, four K. So, but I really do like what we chose. Um, we went through, I think once, was it budget blinds uh, or one, two, three blinds. I don't want to say the wrong one, but our sales lady, she was really nice. She took her time with me. I was so indecisive. We had to order these before we moved in the house. So I was like extra nervous. I'm <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we about to drop all this money on blinds and we didn't even close on the house. <laughs> so yeah, it was a lot. But um, so yeah, but I'm happy with them. And I feel like they go with you know, the house is very neutral, but it's not white. I didn't want just a plain white line. So, yeah. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing. What I'm missing, won't you listen? 
go back because she's making pancakes right and y'all go uh subscribe to her she is so cute i love her house and her style is so beautiful but you look at this so she making pancakes and she made <laughs> Miss sugar to go on top oh my gosh like and she knew exactly what we were thinking like girl what is that <laughs> I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna stop it. 